Sorry for my delay. <laughs> okay. How are you all? And I'm, I'm very happy to be here tonight with all of you. Uh, I heard many things, good things about what you are doing and I'm so excited to be tonight with all of you. How is things going? Is uh, you got a winter storm there? We've, we've had a couple <laughs> in Canada. Wait, let me do Not a, let me do a quick from, intro. Yeah, actually, I'm going to ask Sam and, and uh, Justin if you can pop in so I can uh, take a nice screen capture. Justin, I know, is at work right now, so he may not be able to turn his camera on. Okay. okay. Thanks for um, plugging in, Justin, just yeah. the same. Hey, everybody, yeah. give us your best smile. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Hi. So Hi. excited to have you tonight. Hi, Savannah. <laughs> yeah, good to be here. Okay, let's let's uh, uh, start. Sophia. <laughs> okay, well, just to do a brief introduction here, Luis is the CEO of Nikan, but he has been, he started out 25 years ago, if I'm not mistaken, as a translator for Nikan. 28. <laughs> 28 years ago, sorry. As a translator for Nikan uh, in Mexico, right? So uh, Luis is from Mexico, uh, born and raised, but he has Japanese heritage. Um, and he started just translating uh, Spanish and Japanese, right? Yes. When you, were, when you started. And then, I mean, I would love to honestly get your take on your story of why you decided to move from being a, um, like a translator to a consultant and then eventually to go up to corporate. Um, so you can share that in just a moment, but after, you know, he, Luis was formerly the, um, um, the head of Nikan Latin America and was really successful or really um, the person who was responsible for the success that they've had there and how they've really been able to keep up with, you know, the marketing trends and transition to a younger demographic. So seeing that uh, he was so successful in that market, finally, they decided to make him the head of Nikan Global. And we're so happy that he did that. They did that because Nikan, uh, Nikan really needs a leader like Luis, somebody who leads with their heart, um, somebody who is humble enough to listen to the voices of the people that you know are part of this company and to really take them seriously. And somebody who also has like that entrepreneurial business mindset. At the beginning, when me and Savannah and Elena first decided to join me again, my dad set us up on a call with Luis. And I think we can all agree amongst the three of us that the biggest takeaway we had from that call was he said to us, money is everywhere, purpose is not. And that's how we knew that we were in the right place and that we were investing our time and our energy into something that was worthwhile. Um, so I'm really excited for Luis to just share. First, I want you to share your story with us. So everyone can kind of know who they're talking to. Um, and also I'd love for you to share why you've decided to come and meet with our team today, because I know that this is quite a special thing and it's not something that you do for everyone. So yeah, take it away. Thank you, you. Sophia. Well, uh, I start in, uh, in network marketing business when I was uh, in college and it, it was, 34 years ago, that's uh, pretty much uh, a long time. But I start because uh, I need to have an income, but I need to have also uh, my uh, free freedom in my time to use my time in a, in a way I wanted because I, I want to do many things. So uh, I, I tried many other works, any other jobs, and I found that uh, selling uh, products was the best way to, to convert um, my efforts in money the fastest way. And that's uh, when I start uh, my business in another company, it was not Nikan, and uh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot uh, about uh, the beauty of this system, the, this process. And after some years, uh, Nikan came to Mexico and they invite me to work as a consultant, uh, also as a starting my, my business in Mexico in 90, it was 93. And I reject the offer 
because I, I didn't think that Nikken will work, that Nikken will be something uh, that will be successful because Nikken was selling sleep systems, water systems, insoles, and I thought that that will never work. Uh, but something that I was I didn't have in my in my equation in my in my analysis is that stress is always growing in the world. Stress is getting worse and worse, and Nikken serves that area. Nikken is one of the is not there are not many companies that really cares about this um, what what stress causes in in the society. Uh, most of our problems are related with the, with stress and in between relationships, in between the way we, we spend money is related with stress. So the best way to, to have a better life is to start taking care of stress. And Nikken found a way to do this in, a, in not just with the products, also uh, building the business and also learning many ways to have a uh, peace of mind that's uh also we we learned that in the process but i didn't know that about that so in 94 i was asked to to become Nikken translator for the general manager so i accept uh and then uh, i start a career in the company as as uh, a staff and i met there mike dimucho uh, the young Mighty Mucha, <laughs> and um, and also uh, uh, Sofia Savannah mother mother was also there at that at that moment, and uh, and it was very interesting. It was very interesting because uh, the energy that Mighty Mucha had at that time was well, it's the same as today <laughs> it didn't change that much but the energy and the the leadership that he took uh he was uh, you were you were in the 30s 20s yeah 20s. Uh, i yeah i was in my 20 uh, when Nikken launched in mexico was i was 28 or 29 i think just yeah. turning 29 yeah yeah i, st I started my, my the beginning of my business i started when i was 20 uh, so the, the idea is that uh, um, what I notice is that when you start and you try to convince others and, and you start working by yourself, most of the people think that young people are not good enough to have their own business or start their own business. And a lot of people don't pay attention. Uh, and that's one of the things that I discover that if you think that people will pay attention or will follow you because you are young, it's not. It's the same as uh, if you are a man, woman, no. They, 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 they start taking respect from what you do when you behave as entrepreneur. And for entrepreneur, it's not an age, it's an attitude, it's a behavior. And it's, it's, it's not about the age, how, how old are you, how old are you? It's, is how how much you respect your business, how much you you take more um, uh, these behaviors, these entrepreneurial behaviors. That's that makes the difference. Also, Mr. Masuda, the uh, the founder of the company, starts when he was 26, 27 years old. He started the company. Uh, so that's uh, the age is a is is uh, could be a dilemma if we go with the with the society, what the society thinks about young younger generations. But in reality, all of us, we have the the, the entrepreneurial spirit. It's just make sure that you can awake that entrepreneurial spirit and start doing things that the others will not do. Um, then, well, uh, after that, I became the, the general manager of Mexico after being translator for some years. Uh, the general manager in 2000, the managing director for Latin America in 2004. Uh, we opened nine countries after that. I, I was um, traveling uh, 240 nights per year. So that means 249 hotel nights a year and 180 airplanes a year. Uh, that was my average. 
uh, crazy life, yeah. But uh, but I love it because I I I was in a position to serve to support a lot of people that wants to find different ways to 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 manage their lives, and that's in inspiring. It's totally inspiring to to listen the different stories in Peru, in Chile, in uh, Ecuador, in uh, Panama, in Costa Rica. People that says that thanks to this, they are they are having a better life. Thanks to this, they, they found a way to have better relationships with their family. Uh, people that one, one, one girl in Panama came uh, when we, the second year that we, we were celebrating the second year of Panama in the anniversary. And this uh, girl came to, to meet me uh, she was around 15 years old, and she says, thank you. I say, thank you for what? Because you re returned my mother. I say, how was that? Well, someone came to my house. My mother was uh, laid down from three years, and uh, and, and we, we, we had our mother at home, but we, we lost our mother in reality. But after she used Nikken products, now she's back. She's standing, and she's taking care of us. And I said, wow, that's, that's what, what I love, that what we do makes that happen. That you don't know where the next people life will change because you tell them about this. And that's, that's really wonderful. That's keep me, keep me here. <laughs> that's in reality what keeps, keeps me here. One day, the Larry Prophet, that he was the Nikon ambassador, uh, when I was, as managing director uh, in Latin America. And he asked me if how I feel for in the about the the lead Nikon leaders were making more money than me. Uh, well, that's the difference because the Nikon leaders they, they run their own business. Right? And I I, I made some and salary, but I knew what to be my, by myself building my business. If it was not because of Nikken philosophy, I will never move from where I was to become a, a su support in Nikken as, as, a, as a, an executive. Um, the way that Nikken compensate uh, executives is needs to be based on the performance and success of the leaders. We are also having compensation. That's that's why we create a balance. Otherwise, I will quit what I'm doing and I, I want to be in the Mike Stimuson position. <laughs> when doing the same thing, building the business. But in reality, this this really works because always we think how to, to create balance in, in any in any levels. So uh, saying that, uh, having um, you all you as members of the global wellness community is is really inspirational. Inspired me a lot because it's a new generation, and uh, as a family, as a family business, the Muchos, that's also something that is uh, really inspiring. Because uh, when the second generation is taking also the same path as the first generation, that means something. It's something very, very important. And we, we is the first. Time that we see that is happening in North America, that uh, that that step, and that's that makes me feel that we all have a future. We we will continue here for many years, and uh, and the next generation is going to lead. Uh, is uh, now is leading uh, because as as I told you before, Mike and me we start when we, we were at, at your age, so. That's, uh, that's really inspirational. So, well, thank you. And any questions, uh, anything else that you want me to share with the team? I will be happy to. Sab, do you wanna go ahead and ask a question? No, I was actually gonna ask Papa if he had any guidelines that he wanted to take the conversation if no one had any questions no no i i wanted you guys to lead it okay. it's, it's your team it's your call and um my role here was to simply make the two happen make the right. connection happen 
Okay, well then, yeah, I'd love to open the floor to the team. I know we've had a chance to talk to Louise, but you guys haven't, so. I can kind of start us off. Hi, Louise, my name's Samantha. Hi. I'm so excited to be talking to you right now. All the Demuchios have such amazing things to say about you, so you definitely live up to the expectation. Um, uh, my question is towards um, your vision for the products. I think for me, what I've noticed a lot in my business is that, um, especially sp with the water pack, um, uh, people are really looking for more variety in terms of what the look is so that it can fit into their home a little bit easier. So I was just curious if Nikan has any goals to broaden what the system looks like or the shower heads, or if there could be interchangeable at some point so that, you know, people can really integrate it into their lifestyle without it looking so different from let's say their modern home or things like that wonderful good question samantha <laughs> i i just uh finished last week a meeting with the uh, with our design team the product development and design team and uh we are looking for for, for example the shower uh to be more um uh, looks more metal not nice. plastic white it's more mm -hmm. like a metal right more chrome Yes. Uh, we think that that will be more appealing or nice, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, I love, I love how it looks. Don't get me wrong. No, no, I understand. I understand because we, we, we need to be more customer centric. And yeah. that's something that we are working more and more. And, and what you just said is so important because um, the, the best way to learn what our customer wants is through you. And I, I, I really will love to have more, more uh, feedbacks from your side uh, that you can tell us what is more uh, trendy, what is appealing, what is uh, people looking for. And that always will go to our product development team and uh, to make it work because it's not what we want you to sell, it's what the customer wants to buy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like. I love that you're so open to that, Luis. I just, I've been talking to my dad about that, that, you know, I've, I have so many ideas and feedbacks from customers that I want to share and I've, I haven't known who to share it with. But for example, like one thing um, I had somebody say to me, like, this might be a stupid question, but does the water bottles come in different colors? Cause like for my kids, they'd want to have different colors. So even just something so simple, like having like the band and the cap, a different color could like be more enticing for kids to Absolutely. buy. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, we are looking for that. Also, uh, these uh, next couple of months, I will have the first designs in the water bottle. The water bottle is going to change and I'm getting the, the designs because these voices came uh, before I, I listened from Mike that you were also sharing with him some of these ideas, right? So, uh, and we are, we, are, we are bringing all these to our team because um, we changed the way we managed last year, the, the way we were managing the company. And mm -hmm. Now is uh, we are bringing everything to become more customer centric, and also to co-create what we want with the with the leaders, not uh, imposing things as we did before. Now is is uh, the the best way to build a faster growing future is if we we do this together. So that's uh, that's very very a key for my administration. I don't have mm -hmm. all the answers. But all together, we have them. On that note, just while we're here, um, a feedback that I've heard time and time again from customers, especially ones who live in city where the apartments are smaller and there's less counter space, is asking if there's like waterfall units that take up less space. So like I know in Latin America, they have a few different sizes you can look at. So I think to offer a waterfall unit that maybe is a little bit smaller and has a little bit of a lower price point would be something that customers would really appreciate as well. Yes, 
the the challenge that we always have in in, in terms of uh, price it will be the functionality and design mm. uh, the the functional the functionalities are so important in our products it's not just water filters you will find everywhere but water filters that is not just water filter it's it's uh, products that also helps uh, to detox your body to detox uh, and also to to provide more nutrition, more minerals to your body, you, it's not that common. Uh, so uh, based on that, to to add to to make that work, the cost compared with other filters will be totally different. But in the long term, the cost of your health will be much savings. You will you will experience much more savings that 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 for those that will not take care of that part. Mm. And um, and that's uh, you know that the the area of health is so expensive today. Uh, I don't know in Canada. I know that in Canada you have a very good social security, but in reality it's very expensive. And the most the, the thing that is more ex expensive is when you are um, when you experience some kind of sickness, the time you waste because you are going to be out of of uh, action <laughs> that will also cost. So uh, the important thing here is that um, that our products will will go in that direction for sure. Uh, people stay at home more than ever, and the 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 new design of uh, we have one five liters um, we call the pie water in Latin America. It's a mm -hmm. aquapur. It's a small size. I've seen it, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and we are going to change the design this year because that one has already, we start with that design in 2003. So you, you can know how many years it has. Maybe some of you were not born yet, but-, <laughs> but I think all of us were born. In 2003. We're not that young, Luis, come on. <laughs> in 2003, uh, now we have a, so many years with the same design, it worked. That, that's why we continue selling it. But now we need to change the design. We need to make it more uh, modern, modernized. Yeah, and I love that you guys are always um, looking to improve the product line. That I, we I have. might wanna just throw something in there because I, I, know, I know there is a unification of Nikan's markets um, through the, the new IT that's in development. So does that mean also, Luis, that we may get more of the same similar products in the different markets under? Uh, yeah, uh, the idea, we have a project that we call, the, this project is the Global, Global Product Strategy. That is a, a, a project that we are working in at this moment. And we are defining the products that will be global and those that will be local. Because for example, for if we do a far infrared uh, scarf, uh, no one will buy that in Panama, for example, or in, 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 uh, in Cancun. I already want that. That sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, I want one as well. <laughs> so those, those kind of products will be more local based on season. And the other ones uh, that the waterfall, for example, goes to everywhere. The waterfall, you, you will find the waterfall everywhere you go. Uh, the insoles, you will find them everywhere you go worldwide. Uh, but there, there, there are some nutritionals that are more Americanized, Americanish than uh, Latin American. Uh, so uh, that kind of things will be more local. And also in the jewelry, uh, you know that the, how, how people, have their own fashion. So some jewelry you will find in Latin America that will not be sold in North America because no meaning here. Uh, that kind of things will be more local, but we are going to have some, uh, we are going to have more global strategy that you will have, you, everywhere you go, you can promote your business because those are, will be the core, the pro, core products. So you will, you will be able to talk about it. The other thing that uh, Mike brought here um, that is interesting about this uh, global system is that you can you will be able to expand your business much 
in a much easier way everywhere we are. So if, if from Canada, you want to expand your business in Europe, that will be much easier to sell the products, to recruit people, that will be very simple. That's, a, that's one of the ideas that we have. Also, if you want to expand your business to Latin America, that will be much easier. Today is difficult because we have three different systems. So to, to sign up in, the, in this system will be different as you sign up in the in other country system. So that's, that's one of the issues that we had for years, uh, that difficulty. But for the next couple of years, this will change a lot. Mm -hmm. Just to let you guys know, it's still doable. I've done it. Mm -hmm. I've sponsored somebody in Mexico, um, but it just takes an extra step. It's not as simple as just going on the website and like filling out that page. It was like a few forms that we had to fill out together and then an email that we had to send. So um, I'm really excited for that update to happen. Leanne, I see that you have your hand up. I'd love for you to ask Lisa a question. Thank you. I just wanted to jump in while we were on the topic of um, products, because I know it came up. Um, I can't remember if it was in our call or if it was just within our, I think it was within our group chat, but somebody had mentioned um, a water system for their bathtub. So maybe if they had a bathtub that wasn't attached to their shower. I'm wondering if it exists now that you were mentioning um, products within the different markets, if it already exists, or if it's something that could potentially be made, maybe like an attachment for just the bathtub rather than the shower head. Oh, mm. because well, we were that, talking on the topic again of how obviously your skin absorbs so much of the water that you're bathing in. So for someone who yes. maybe takes baths over showers, I just wanted to know kind of where where that lies. Good. Uh, we still don't have that. It's the first time that I hear that <laughs> that request. Uh, but yes, of course, we can we can uh, work on that and start. Uh, bringing this to my product product team, product development team. Yeah, it's possible. Amazing. Yeah, just because I know in some places the water is not the best. So if you're bathing in it all day, um, you definitely want to get that off of your skin. So amazing. Yeah. Thanks so much. We, we did mention that some of us like use the shower head, but I know for some people they don't have um, the shower in their bath. So I feel like that would be a good solution for those people. It was something we were all pretty excited about in our group chat when we <laughs> started talking about it. Um, Moya, I see that you have your hand up. Go ahead. Hi, Lewis. So nice to meet you. My name is Moya. Um, I did want to Hi. touch on the filter as well, not only for the bathtub, but also for like the sink. Again, that's like when washing our hands in general. <laughs> Um, but I did want to touch on the, on the water bottle itself, possibly having, I know you said there's different variations of it, um, can we have like a kid's version? So something that's kind of small, like I have two young children, so they're school age, they're like four and six. And so this huge bottle is kind of too much for them to carry in their backpack, but if they have like a mini version of the same filtering system, I think that'll be a lot easier. So Good. yeah, I like that. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you, is Moya? Moya, yeah. Ah, okay, wonderful. Yes, uh, of course. Um, uh, the, 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 all, all of those um, voices that you, came with uh it is good that we can have them in a email or uh also if you can draw sometimes an idea of what you are thinking that will be helpful i'm and putting notes so i can send them over after yeah absolutely yes please i even i wanted to ask as well just because i feel like there's a lot of ideas that a bunch of us on this call have and we're really learning as we go especially now that we're also a generation that's getting onto social media, we're adapting a lot of the feedback that we're getting from that into how we actually grow our businesses. So what would you suggest is the best way, even for our growing team, to create kind of like a funnel or a channel to connect either with you or someone in product development, like whatever it may be, whether it's product oriented or business oriented, what would be the best way to kind of funnel that feedback or to create more of an ongoing engagement? Well, Basically, um, based on this global global product strategy that we are talking about, um, everything comes from first to me. Uh, and also, uh, from there, I have meetings with my team every week. So uh, we, we bring all these uh, ideas there. And they start looking for uh, 
all the possibilities and then they come with the other ideas. With all of these, um, there, are, there are some ideas that are um, emerging in my head with also what, what you are telling me now. And yeah, it will be, it, it is really interesting. It's a very interesting area. Mm -hmm. I'm I just think wondering. It's important. Before we, we, I don't want to get carried away with product discussion because I think that's great. And we can. I just want to talk about what we were just going to say. So, because of, um, like you were saying, how you know all the product information or ideas kind of goes towards you. Maybe what we could do, if that's okay, is every, maybe bi weekly or every month, we can ask our team, hey guys, do you have any suggestions? Do you have any ideas? I can put it in an email and send it off to you so Absolutely. that every month you're being updated on kind of our ideas. Absolutely. And yes. that being said, I know we want to jump off the product ideas, but I swear <laughs> this one's so good. I have to share it. A, a customer literally said to me, you guys, instead of putting these around our dogs, we should have a dog collar that has the technology in it. Cause then you can actually put it on your dogs. If it like dogs, like, you know what I mean? Because we've had people on our team, like um, Alicia, who has had such an incredible experience putting the necklace on her dog and how much it helped her dog like recover from an injury. And you're just thinking, huh, like a collar so that dogs can actually wear it or some sort of necklace fitted for the dog. Yeah, could be cool. But anyways, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Well, maybe I can direct the question towards... Uh, more about sorry i just alexa you had your hand up i don't know if you still wanted oh, to ask a question yeah. or it's also about the filters but it's just um seeing that the water bottle design is changing will the filters be transferable like i mean the actual individualized filters just because if the shape of the water bottle or the style of it is changing like i know my my aunt i sell products to my aunt and she's going to be like, well, shouldn't I just wait for the new bottle? Or why am I buying replacement filters if there's going to be a brand new filter coming out? Even though it'll be the same one, they might not fit. And I don't even know if you can answer that right now. But just will <laughs> they be versatile? doesn't know there's a new one coming out. And we don't know when it's coming out. Oh, so. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I misheard you then. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Uh, the, the products that I, I was telling you, the, we just talked with the product development last week and we brought us in a, in a project. I'm uh, sorry. Okay. So we, confidential we, we, information. We are like, no, sure. it's, not, it's not that confidential, but <laughs> as, as you notice, it's better that you keep focusing what you have in hands and don't talk to the future because that will prevent people maybe that not to, 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 to purchase now and wait. Yeah, but, no, but, okay. but the health, don't wait. So the wellness don't wait. It is something that is, is there and we need to start taking care of it immediately as a prevent, uh, as prevention, not, not for healing, it's prevention. Mm -hmm. Thank you, that, that makes a lot of sense. I like that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Louise, it's a pleasure Hi. to meet you. How are you? Good, how are you, Rosemary? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I just had a quick question about the website. Um, I'm not sure if you have that much information on it, but um, I do have um, a couple of questions from yeah. some clients. Uh, you know, it's a little bit confusing on the website. And uh, I just want to say that um, both my brother and my very close friend both specialize in digital design. So they are more than welcome to um, Join us in that way and help develop uh, a new website for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Uh, thank you for that offer. It makes me feel a little bit shame. Uh, we we haven't changed this for I don't know how many years, and of course um, now now we are in that process at, at this point. Um, hopefully, we are going to have that soon. But at the same time, it's uh, the, what you think and what we are going to have, maybe we'll have a difference <laughs> in between the, 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 the vision you have as a web page. But of course, the, for me, the web page needs to be a very functional web page that uh, we are, uh, we were talking with Mike for over 
one more than one year that uh, this this needs to change a lot and we we are agreed that uh, one of the things that we need to change here is that our current web page is very very business oriented it's not customer oriented and that's one of the the changes that we need to to make it work um to do that we are now in the in the process to to change everything that supports the information that we have in the in the web page uh and that's our first step then uh the web page needs to be easy to redesign and and to change at any times that we need to today is very rigid it's very difficult to to manage because it's uh it's not it's not us the company that we have the control that's outside and that's uh i don't like that part but i we will be working on that but rosemary um listening is your offer uh i think that we, we are we are building these kind of plans that we have uh co-creation processes that could be interesting that you can participate in one of those plans if you can she would have a lot of value to share. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Well, so Sophia has some experience in the, this co-creation methodology that we are working on, mm -hmm. and really works. Really works. And um, so, if uh, Rosemary, you you can in some moment we we call you. It will be you can you can evaluate. Uh, you might just get an email one day from Louise saying, hey, do you want to help us with something? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tell me in that, Louise. Tell me in that. I want to be part of marketing. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I've, I've been wanting to be part of marketing before I started Nika. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, so, I, I, I feel that we will have something here because uh, with all you talented uh, people, uh, it could be very interesting to start working some co-creation process with you guys. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank um, you so I'm, much. I just need to, guys, I'm going to be, I have a call starting at nine plus or minus. I've got somebody picking it okay. up for me, I hope. Uh, Sandra's going to ask a question and then I have a Go question. Ahead. Okay. Go okay. ahead, Sandra. Oh, you, you're muted. I'm, I'm muted. Yeah, perfect. Okay. My question was, uh, I know they kind of left the question was a so uh, home water filter. Mm -hmm. that is um, actually can be installed like you know normally they would install it in the garage and it just filtrate through the entire home completely so it's like a tank and then, so i'm wondering if you can um put the the same filters just a larger size with the same in, uh, material into a bigger one that somebody who has a huge house would probably or any house at all could just buy that system and install, install it mm -hmm. in their house and it goes through the entire pipe system kind of thing that would be a good idea. that's, I had one in that's something that i call thinking big <laughs> so. yeah that could, and, and 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 i know that those one actually costs um yeah i know from in the, yeah they're up there because yeah <laughs> yeah but then the, the, those be... those the cost of those kind of products are in between two thousand to five thousand dollars yeah uh and uh and that's totally viable yeah yeah okay well i have one in california and i and i love it but i sold that house and, and moved to georgia so now i'm thinking like mm, i really need something like that or it's just okay. one thing and yeah how much cost if, if i can know if i I, may um, ask. I think we paid about uh, at the time Maybe three thousand eight hundred mm -hmm. in some, yeah. somewhat there, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah is but, that something that you think people you know or yourself would be willing to make an investment in over like I'll, countertop I'll, unit? I've got, and a I've got to be honest, a hundred percent. I've actually been asked that question, and even like my friend, she, um, she, they own like a construction company, and she actually asked me like, "Do you guys have that? Because we could start putting that in the homes that we build." Mm. and make that make that could be something that like they take on as a business right but yeah it's interesting it you would know be interesting in, uh, to in japan they have commercial installations for this type of technology so it's not impossible it's just no. 
it's it's a cost factor more than anything. I, I just want to switch the gears from product because yeah. we could be talking product all day long. And you know, we have the CEO of the company here, and he's the guy who's responsible for Vision 2025. Mm-hmm. So, Luis, I've been I've been very excited about Vision 2025. First of all, because you're one of the I think you're the only CEO that I've heard in 20 years actually state a vision, like literally give us a, a number and, and put it out there. And I know you're a big, strong fan and advocate of the law of attraction and you understand the mechani- mechanism for creation. Um, so, I, and, and when I started working with this group as they emerged, I started to see the pos- I went from being the guy, believe it or not, who thought 10 million people in five years How's that going to ever happen to the guy thinking, you know what, these guys know how it can happen and they're probably going to be the ones who make it happen. So I got, I switched completely from a person who was like, I don't know how this is going to happen to maybe this could happen to, I think this is going to happen. And, and so I just wanted to ask you about your, this, if you could just say a few words about your vision, especially as it relates to them, because if they're not going, if they're not inspired by it, then they're not going to, you know, do what, what I did, you know, we, we, we got well out of, our, out of our comfort zone. When I flew to Mexico to launch Mexico, I didn't know a soul in Mexico, but there I was. And today, one of the biggest businesses in Niken is my organization from Latin America because of that decision I made in 1993. So what inspired me to do what I did um, was a vision for the future. And I know you have such a big vision and I'd like to see if you could share maybe for, for this group, that vision. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Um, when the pandemic start, um, I, uh, I was asked from Mr. Watanabe uh, to participate in a global forum. This global forum was uh, in between the governments and enterprises uh, global forum. And they were talking about life after COVID, and also how the how COVID impact uh, the the governance of the countries and also the the enterprises, and all of them agree that uh, the company needs to stop uh, harming nature. That's that's one of the things that uh, is important that the companies and the inter- enterprises stop harming uh, nature. One of the, the other thing is to create more balance in the economy. In, uh, in, in, in the society, create more balance. And also uh, the other thing that they were talking about was the importance of create more uh, social welfare. Uh, we uh, as a company participate more in those areas to be more aware of uh, humanity. And all those things resonate with me because we, as, uh, as Nick and we were talking about this many years as uh, humans be more, be the best version of yourself. And that's, uh, that's what we are for here. Then um, uh, talking with Mr. Watanabe, we, we came to the vision 2025 uh, as, um, uh, and to see three, three important access uh, for the future of this company, of the sustainability of the company, that one of these axes is the uh, so- social welfare, then the economic viability, and being in harmony with nature. Uh, we, when we say in harmony with nature, it's not that we protect nature. It's too much as human beings pretend that we can save the world. The world is saving us. And, uh, and that's uh, the most important thing that we need to notice. So we have to respect nature. And to, res- to respect and being gr- in grateful with nature, the first thing that we need to understand is our own nature, because we came from nature and we are nature. Our body works as nature. Uh, it's the reflection of na- nature. So when we respect nature laws, we are going to be much healthier and we are going to be more um more fair with what we do with nature uh and that's that's uh that's the important thing i think that pretending that we can save is like uh, again the human ego because we need to understand that we we need to be humble that nature is going to save us 
and not we saving nature. Nature will stay there after we will be extinct. I can bet for that. So uh, that's one of the things. The other economic viability is when we start talking about plastic, for example. Uh, there are two types of plastic. One is waste and the other is functional plastic. So we need to be very clear on that. So uh, for functional plastic, we need to have, uh, sometimes we say recycle, but recycle, uh, we, we don't have a lot of culture regarding uh, plastic and recycling. We don't know what the numbers means. You have seen the numbers in the triangle, a tri like a triangle that number one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Seven, it's one to seven. That means the, the how easy is to, or how viable is to recycle that plastic. So number one is the, the most easy to, to recycle. Number seven is the most difficult to recycle. So the, the idea here is that uh, we, we, we start, we, we need to think in how to re reuse our packaging, how we can uh, make our, our packaging more uh, safe to, to ship the products, but at the same time to reduce the impact. But also always that you, you make an improvement here, the cost goes up. So also people will buy less because the cost went up. Right, so that's the economic viability that we need to talk about, the economic viability. And also the other part of the economic viability is how much people can make a living through Nikon, how much they can do a living. And this is related with something that we call the cycle, circle, circular collaborative economy. How we support each other and how we support other, other sides of the society to have a living. It's not just us having a living, it's we understand that when we are doing that, we are creating also great possibilities to others. That's the, 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 the circular uh, economic um, viability. And society welfare is when we, we stand for uh, teaching principles to be the best version of yourself. That's something that the world needs today, that we behave in a different way uh, as individuals, but in the individuals impact families, families impact society. So that's uh, that's a, a way to see the the society welfare, and also we are we are going to bring this to another level. So we we have an, a project that is uh, this project is more is social welfare project that uh, we are already working on that, and you will listen about that. But it is how, how many of you will love to travel the world doing a difference in different areas, uh, uh, helping the uh, these uh, the nonprofit organizations in different areas. For example, environment, example societies, example that kind of things. To travel the world doing a difference. Who of you want to do that? Right, me too. So well, I I am already doing that. <laughs> this May I have a. Um, a project that I'm going to be in the in the in the middle of nowhere in in Mexico where nowhere nobody goes there, and we are going to bring uh, medical support in that those areas. Last time we did in three days we we had uh, two thousand people that came uh, from the different villages in the mountains to 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 have that uh, so to get the medical support. Some people were in a danger because the, the lack of uh, health and la lack of support. And we had to bring them bring them from those mountains in, in, uh, in cars to the nearest hospitals uh, to support them. But everything is paid. Everything is by, by the, it's zero cost for these people. And this organization is one of the organizations I really respect a lot because it's run by one of the Nikken leaders in Mexico, one Royal Diamond is, but she don't say that because she says that it's not, it's not to promote her business. She's not doing that to promote her business. So, but I, 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 I knew about this and I'm participating with her and it's amazing. It's really amazing. But that, that's my contribution. It's a small village, but 
it's my contribution, you know? <laughs> but if you do that the same, each of you do the same, so we can have 20, 20 people impacting something here. One, one year, at, uh, one project per year. That will be fun and uh, really, really important. So that's why the, the social welfare goes there. And we are already working to, to, to create that space to do that. Uh, so uh, that's, that's what makes a, a company sustainable now, three, three, the, these three axes. But one of the interesting things that I learned recently is that now in also in Wall Street, you know, the, the investment area where stocks moves, you know about that? Uh, they are now in a focus in something that they call the SEG. SEG, that they are they are um, encouraging the investors to work on SEG. That means social environment governance. The social development, environment protection, and governance. That's what what the, the investors are looking for now. The invest in companies that supports environment, companies that reduce the harm in the environment. They, the investors are looking for social welfare and also governance. The governance means economic uh, equality, economic viability. So I love to, to learn about this because I, I, I said, we, we are doing that too in Niken. And you, all of you are the investors in Niken because you invest your time, your money to build your business. So it, it is good for you to know that uh, you are investing your time and your money in something that also is retributing in the, into the society and in nature in many ways. And, and that makes it that feel, feel that we are doing something right, that we are doing something correct. So uh, that's, that's important for me. And also when you review the United Nations social development goals, that is 17 commitments, you will find that we fit with around 11 of those, those commitments of the United Nations. Uh, so um, yeah, that's, that's uh, about the vision 2025. Ah, of course, we are going to reach 10 million people. 10 million people is 10 million people that will be practicing by 2025. Uh, the active wellness. Active wellness is use the products, got the experience, but also sharing that experience with others. And some people say, oh, that's impossible. It's too many, too much people. Well, you know, one guy that is in, in, um, in Instagram, he's a guy that always makes, make fun, makes fun from other videos. And he finished like a saying nothing by the weekend. Have you seen My that cousin guy? keeps talking about that. Yeah. He just goes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that guy has 100 million followers. And he said no word. But it's fun, right? But if you check him, he has 100 million followers. So if we use correctly the, the social media, if we do correctly our, our, our global wellness community and the message, we will reach 10 million for sure. That will not be so difficult. But we, we need to have everything in, a, in the place to make that happen. Everything, products, business, uh, message, uh, the different tools, uh, all those together. So we are putting all those together to make the, the, the perfect storm. Awesome. Um, Luis, you don't have to go anywhere. I have the aligning with success call that started 10 minutes ago that Leah's kicked off for me, but I've got to jump over to that call. Okay. But you guys can carry on. I've just made some uh, Elena to lead on this. And uh, if this stops recording, we'll save the recording and share with the group. So I want to just say, as I leave, thank you, sir. Thank you for thank being you part of this experience well. and sharing your, your time and your energy with this up and coming uh, group of movers and shakers. I think they're going to yeah, take Nikan by storm. It's so beautiful that after so many years of this uh, partnership, we are able to talk with the new generation. So thank that's, you. That's so wonderful. I'm going to pass it back to you guys and I will speak to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night.